We're going to graph the function y equals 6 cosine of x over 1 period from 0 to 2 pi. Let's go to Wiley Plus. Let's look at the two graphing objects I made available to us. If we make these both be on 0, this is y equals sine x, this would be y equals cosine x. We don't want them. You can either clear to get rid of both of them, or click on the guy you want to get rid of, and hit the x. So we're going to drag this guy down into the position of y equals cosine x. Well, that's good. That's y equals cosine x, but we want y equals 6 cosine x. So we're going to first take this initial dot and drag it up to where we want it to be at 0, 6. Sometimes you have to tweak it. You can always see the coordinates by hovering over the dot. Now we need to take care of stretching. The scale tool is what we need, but it's not available to us. The way you make it available is to click on the curve away from the dot. Now the scale tool is available. When you click on the scale tool and come back to the curve, again, be sure you're away from the dot. You get this box with arrows coming out. If you grab the curve, you can stretch it. So we wanted to, that trough to go down 6, and we are done. If you ever lose your scale object, suppose you clicked somewhere off your curve, and you say, oh no, my scale tool has gone. Click on the curve away from the dot, and the scale tool is back, and you're able to restretch. Later on, when you start also shifting side to side and up and down with vertical and horizontal shifts, it's easier to do the stretching part first, and then you can grab this whole thing and move it side to side and up and down as needed, and it remembers its shape and doesn't get itself twisted apart until you click on here and get the scale tool and try to change it. So the dot moves it up and down and side to side. The scale tool stretches it up and down.